Hello guys, this is the Atlas channel. Today I'm starting a new playlist on making a 3D tower defense game. This game will be similar to Plants with Zombies, but in a 3D. If you are interested, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and wait for the new videos. And of course you can find all the scripts and the project on my Patreon page. You can download it absolutely for free. And today we are going to create and customize the project and add a panel for cards. So let's not delay any longer and get to the work. Go into Unity Hub and create a new 3D project. When your project has been created, go to Build Settings and change the platform to Android. Then go to the Play Settings and change the default orientation to Landscape Right. But if you want, you can set After Rotation, but remove all portrait orientations. Set the camera as you like, but you can copy the transform settings from me. Create a 3D object plane. This will be the platform where everything will happen. Again, set up as you want, but I recommend taking my transform parameters. Now let's start creating the interface by creating a canvas UI object. In render mode, choose screen space camera and move main camera there. Let's make a plane distance closer and in the scale mode select scale with screen size and set the resolution you are working with in Unity. In canvas create a panel UI object and place it in the upper left corner of canvas. Also choose the color you want, I choose transparent black. For UI objects to scale correctly when a screen resolution changes, you need to set anchors. For this panel, you need to set an anchor in the upper left corner. And as you can see, when you change the screen resolution, the panel stays in the right position. Now on this panel create two empty objects. Move the resource holder to the left side of the panel and the card holder to the right side. For both containers set the anchors, the resource holder to the left side and the card holder to the right side. In the resource holder you should add a text that will display the number of resources. You can add a simple text, but I will use Text Mesh Pro. Add the horizontal layout group component to the card holder. It allows us to create a horizontal list of cards. Now if you create an image and then make several copies of it, they will be arranged in an order. In the file system of your project, create a folder for prefabs, then transfer your card to this folder. Open the card prefab and add sprite, which will be the icon of the card, and also add text that will display the price of the card.
Ok, now let's do a little programming. First, let's create a folder for scripts. Create a script and name it as card. In this script, you need to inherit the script table object class and declare three properties for the card icon, the building prefab and the card price. And also make sure to specify this attribute to create cards in the assets. Save the script, go to the file system, create a folder for cards and there you can create a card. Let's name it as default card and on the right side in the inspector you'll be able to assign values to the fields. Create another script in the scripts folder and name it card holder. This script will be more complicated than the previous one. To start, let's declare some fields that you will need to create cards in the cards holder container. In the start method, you need to get the number of cards you want to create and then use that number to initialize the planted cards array. Then we declare the create card method, which will create the card, set its icon and price. Now you need to call the method as many times as you want to spawn cards. To do this, just use a loop and at each iteration call the createCard method. All that's left to do is to move the card holder script to the container, assign all the fields and test. So that's all for today, thanks for watching, you can find all the scripts on my Patreon page for free, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and I wish you luck.